<laughs> How about you, Jason? What have you been playing? Uh, yeah, it's almost embarrassing to say, but I started to play uh, Fallout Shelter on the PS4. Okay. Um, but nice. I had, I, yeah, I know, right? Uh, it was free. You know, it came out a couple months ago, something like that. And uh, Laura was playing it, and so I saw it, and uh, I had previously played on uh, my iPhone when it came out, what, two years ago, something like that? Right. Pretty heavily. Like, that's to the point where I'm like, I'm done with this game. Like, I've played it so often. But the seeing her play it kind of reminded me of, I don't know, how fun it kind of was. And then since that game came out and I stopped playing up to this one, they added, like, some new quest features and other really pointless things to just eat up your time. Um so I was like, oh, I kind of want to see what it's like. So I kind of got into it, and I think we're both enjoying kind of uh, watching our, our vaults grow. So if you haven't played the game, it's essentially a uh, kind of like a almost like a Farmville game, but it's set in like the Fallout universe. So you make a, a vault, and you add rooms like power stations and water purification areas and cafeterias. And then you have vault dwellers that come, and, and you will uh, assign them to rooms to like you know work in the vault, or you'll send them out to the wasteland to get gear and experience and find dwellers, or go on quests. Uh, just stuff like that. And I think uh, if you enjoy the Fallout universe, it's kind of worthwhile. I think if nothing else, it's kind of game. Oh, Fine. Jason, you're breaking up. Hey, can you still hear me? There we go. Yeah. I th- yeah. What were you going to say? Um, yeah, I think you got to be a little closer to the mic. Otherwise, your audio is like cutting out. Microphone. Um, yeah, so if you enjoy like the Fallout games, uh, it's kind of nice because they, they give you a little bit more flavor if you know what is happening. Uh, like So, for example, earlier yesterday, I just had a quest where I had to go speak with uh, Three Dog, who was in Fallout 3. He's like the uh, the Galaxy News radio uh, announcer. And so, like, you go to him, and there's actually kind of a, an in-game Fallout Shelter exclusive story with, like, raiders and stuff like that. Hmm. So it's kind of neat. I mean, it's very, like, Fallout mini. But okay. uh, if you like it, it's... You know kind of cool and if nothing else it's getting me kind of excited for uh fallout 76 which i will definitely buy all right um yeah so, that looks... know, i don't know if, yeah you guys looked into it but that game looks so hot and uh <laughs> yeah i am <laughs> i am super into the fallout universe ever since the first one came out on pc it's been i don't know definitely a top franchise of mine just want to chime in real quick here dark diamond says you shouldn't be afraid to say it it's a cool game Legit cool. I mean, I, yeah. I think it's nice, too, because, like, having played, like, you know, Farmville and all the other Facebook old stuff, it's kind of nice that it can be very hands-off. Like, you can only spend, like, five minutes with it, and the game will keep going when you're not playing, and you still feel like you're getting some significant gains, as opposed to having to sit there and just, like, tap, 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 tap. And, like, if you don't do that, you're, like, missing out. I think Fallout does a good job. And it's free. I mean, you can't complain about it being free. Best price. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I have not played any of the Fallout games i think i'm pretty sure i have fallout 3 here oh, um my god <laughs> it's so good if you like skyrim i feel like you might as well just play this one Do I, I think have... i tried new vegas once but i you didn't think it's good yeah i have, uh, get very far yeah i have literally beaten every single one of them including fallout tactics and what are the really? field that no one ever plays yeah and uh a lot of people like New Vegas. I like New Vegas a lot, but I think I still enjoyed Fallout 3 a bit more, which I feel like I'm in the minority for that. But they're all mm. really good. I was really rooting for E3 for them to announce a Switch port, but obviously that didn't Ooh. happen. Mm. I know. I think that would be really cool. Hopefully. I mean, they did just announce, uh, whatchamacallit, Diablo 3. So, like, I'm sure the games could come out. I don't know how many more times I can play that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You we know? Diablo 3 literally three times, so might as well buy a four more and get another one. <laughs> Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I just getting on Diablo three. Like, I it'd be, it, I would totally buy it for Switch if you could transfer your characters over and just play, you know, what you just keep going mm-hmm. because that's just a cool idea. Like, I could just you know keep playing my my paladin or my necromancer and I don't know on the Switch, but it, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Is <laughs> it all tied over. to like a Blizzard account though? Well, your Blizzard account, yeah, you tie it to there, but it's like unique per game. So like, Laura yeah. and I have ps4 and we have pc but you can't like cross them okay and uh, like it's cool that you can't play together but i just kind of wish you could at least you know have one account that liked all your characters but mm. you can't do that agreed yeah. okay yeah, i know i, I know. back to fallout i one christmas my brother and i got um greatest hits copies of fallout 3 and elder scrolls oblivion and i ended up not playing either of them uh my I brother them played both. both and mm. i thought i had fallout 3 here i don't 
But this is not part of our show and tell segment. I do have two copies of 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. <laughs> the only thing better than one copy of 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. <laughs> you had to spend at least two 50 cents to buy those. <laughs> Sad. Actually, I've heard those games aren't that bad. They're okay. It is yeah, surprisingly yeah. okay, and it has a a curse word button. And you can unlock <laughs> different curse words for each character. It's pretty funny. Oh, as it the goals be. in yeah. life. It is, a, <laughs> it is a decent game. I would love to see a sequel or something, but that's probably not <laughs> going to happen because who cares about 50 Cent anymore? <laughs> yeah, really. What is he even really? doing nowadays? Oh, man. Okay, l- we're going to have a chat about 50 Cent here. So <laughs> I I subscribe to Sirius XM Radio, and one of the channels on there is Shade 45 by Eminem. And I believe uh-huh. 50 Cent is still associated with Eminem. He might still be on the same record label, maybe not. But uh-huh. they still play 50 Cent music during DJ Who Kids show on Saturdays and Sundays, which is like the G Unit DJ. Uh-huh. And so you guys may have not been paying attention, but 50 Cent has been putting out new music almost every week for like the last six years. <laughs> What really? <laughs> he Jeez. is prolific. He has not given up on his music career, and Great. Yeah. I, I, no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, his really. music isn't even bad. It's just the world has moved on from what he's trying to do, and when he does try uh-huh. and keep up with the trends, he just sounds like old men trying to look hip, and then yeah. all his old yeah. stuff just doesn't hit like it used to. What? Doesn't he have like a million dollars or a billion dollars in vitamin water sales or something like that? Isn't that really oh, yes. funny? I thought I heard of that too. Uh, he has made some very good investments throughout his career. I don't I know how much he was in the. He was in the news recently, didn't he? Win like an award? Was it like a producer or something? Ooh, for power, maybe. I... I gotta look this up. Oh yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, people like, seem to really like yeah. that show. Yeah, the show. I've never seen it. I don't know. <laughs> The only guy to release six years of unnoticeable music. <laughs> yeah. That remind. Oh, oh, man. While we are on hip hop, um, there was a news story about Busta Rhymes in the last two or three years having unpaid studio bills of like 300 hours of studio time or something like that. And I'm like, Ugh. wait, Busta Rhymes made music? Like, where did that go? What did he make? <laughs> yeah. I have. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> And he raps so fast, he wouldn't need 300 hours of studio time. He could do it in, like, yeah. 60 minutes. Yeah, exactly. God, Buster Rhymes. I only know, I think it's called Wuha. Is that the only got one I know? I got you all in got check. You all, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Man. I remember that the video has a little dude running around, too. Wow. Yeah. No one in this audience is going to understand what we're talking about. No, but... unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. I don't. 90s hip-hop, we should just do a separate show on that. That would be awesome. We can talk yeah. about all the. I, I love me some <laughs> bling era Puff Daddy and um, lots of stuff. Anyway, 